I gotta start again. My favorite book as a kid was Where the Wild Things Are because, well, okay, so my favorite book as a kid was Where the Wild Things Are because that's me. And it was really fun to read that story. And if you look, when the story starts, the farther he gets out from reality, the bigger the pictures become. And as he comes back home, the pictures get smaller. One of my favorite books was The Boxcar Children. And after I read that book, then I went ahead and read all the other mysteries that were in that series. And since I've grown up, the woman has, the author has written many. Hi, kids. I just want to tell you about my favorite book when I was in kindergarten. I loved it. It's by Ezra Jack Keats, The Snowy Day. I would just beg to read that book over and over again. And I would take my mom to the library once a week looking for that book. I couldn't get enough of it. It was fun for me. Because, you know, I always wanted a snow day so I could get a day off from school and curl up with a cup of hot cocoa and read the book. When I was in elementary school, it was Encyclopedia Brown books. The oh. mysteries of that is a thing, you know, you'd read a little short story, it was a mystery, and then you'd have these clues and you had to figure out who done it. I love those books. Amarion, what's your favorite book, buddy? My favorite book is... Black Bullet Boy and Fly Guy is Green Hits and Ham. Why? What do you like about Green Hits and Ham? What I like about Green Hits and Ham is that it's by Dr. Seuss and he writes funny books. Good morning, Conley Yellow Jackets. We're, We're your WCSS, WCSS News Anchors. Anchors. I'm Felicia. And I'm Javon. Today is Monday, January 24th, 2011. Let's take you to this week's Pledge Leaders. My name is Michael and I'm from Ms. Jerkins' class. My name is Michael and I'm from Ms. Jerkins' class. I'm Shayla and I'm from Ms. Blanco's class. I'm Deja and I'm from Ms. Blanco's class. My name is Case and I'm from Mrs. Schubert's class. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Now back. Please be seated. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Buzz Leaders. Today's lunch choices are cheese pizza, chicken nuggets, corn cobbett, Baked potato wedges, assorted fruit cups, seasonal fresh fruit, liver, liver, flavored low fat milk, and skim milk. A very happy birthday to Miss Nichols. Her birthday is today. Happy birthday! There's no previous leaders of the week this week. Now, here's today's weather report with Dorothy. Currently, it is cloud. It's 26 degrees and cloudy, but later today it'll be 50, 64 degrees with a 10% chance of rain. In current temperatures in South Florida, it's 66 degrees, and in Los Angeles, it's 52 degrees. It's getting a bit warmer up north, but temperatures still range in the negatives. Oh. In current weather, there is snow by the Great Lakes. There is a cold front coming our way, then soon after a warm front will come. Also, light rain is coming our way. Now back to Rangers. Thanks, Dorothy. Now for literature trivia. For K, for K through 12, I mean for K through 2nd, do y'all remember the Good Night Moon book? It is a very familiar bedtime story. What kind of animal appears in this book, in the book? Saying goodnight to all the object in his bedroom. This one's for third through fifth. Have you ever wondered what type of animal Martin the Warrior is? A character in many of the Redwall series. Send in your answers to the media center. The first correct answer from K through second and third through fifth 
will be able to pick from the following book prizes. The Dog Days of Charlotte Hayes, The Princess and the Frog, Paint Your Own Sea Animals, Amazing Animal Facts, and Dog Won't Be Kid Do It Yourself book. Today is day two, a special area for kindergarten through second grade. Now for WCSS Sports Center with our own sports reporters. McCree, Isaiah, and Kier. Hello and welcome to today's edition of WCSS Sports Center. On this very special week, Literacy Week, don't forget to read Sports Illustrated. I'm Isaiah. I'm McCray. And I'm Kier. On Sunday, one team came out on top in the NFC Championship game. The team was the Green Bay Packers. The score was 21-14. to And in the final minutes of the NFC Championship yes, game, the 37th National Shields picked the ball off in the end zone on Jay Cutler. The hook quarterbacks in the game were, were Aaron Rodgers, who took a hard hit from from the Bears linebacker Brian Urlacher. Jay Keller took a clip to the left her knee from the defensive end of the Green Bay Packers. That's it for today's edition of WCSS Sports Center. Now let's take it back to the studio with the Javon and Felicia. Thanks, guys. It's here, Colony Old Jackets. What's here? Celebrate Literacy Week. Sweet. To, today is fifth grade. To, today's fifth grade is, is going to the Mary Broken Museum. Have fun. And to kick off the week, we are having a really special guest here. Let's take it to Ms. Brooks in this studio now with today's honor guest. Good morning, teachers and students. Happy Monday. We're excited about Literacy Week. Our reading committee has been diligent in planning way back all the things that are going to be happening this week, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Today we're going to have with us, reading to some of our classrooms, a very important person known in our community, and that is Representative Allen B. Williams. And Mr. Williams is not here at the moment, but he will be here shortly, and he's scheduled for several classrooms. Mr. Williams um, was born in Tallahassee, so he's a native of Tallahassee. He's married to Opal McKinney Williams, and he has two children, Adriana and Alan Lewis. He graduated from FAMU with a Bachelor's of Science in 1998 and a Master's of Business in 2003. He was first elected as a representative in 2008 and was reelected in 2010. His hobbies are baseball, basketball, football, golf, and of course, reading. Also today, we're going to have many of the adults on our campus out and about reading to classes, and this is just the beginning of an exciting week. So make sure you pay attention to the schedule. Let's all have our books with us, and let's have a great week reading. Remember, champions read and readers lead. Have a great day. Back to our anchors. Thank you, Ms. Thank you, Ms. Brooks. Remember, Yellow Jackets, today is the grand opening of Connie's Book Swap. What is that? What's what? What is a book swap? It's where families and can come and exchange books for no cost after school. Also, today there will be special guests reading to kindergarten through fifth grade. Be on the lookout for thing one and thing two, Yellow Jackets. Now here's what's coming from for tomorrow. On Tuesday, January 25th, PJ Day for all grades. Wear your PJs and get ready to read. Wow, that sounds like so much fun. Also, on this day, there will be a school-wide event. Drop everything and read at 2.15. Drop everything? Yeah, and read. And participation in FDOE's Million Minute Read with the book 
How Much is a Million by David Schwartz. Today's Scope It Out video features some students in kindergarten to second grade showing, reminding us to show caring. Check, check, check out. On Wednesday, buddy reading will be taking place with older students reading with younger students in classrooms. I love reading. So do I. Then on Friday, January 28th, Evelyn Gilmer, local <gasps> children's book author, will appear on WCSS News and make special presentations in kindergarten through second grade about her new book. What book? Maggie the Beagle with the Broken Tail and the Baby Sea Turtles. Cool. That's all for today. To, that's all for today, Conley Yellow Jackets. Remember, our motto, make the most of every minute. And, and we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow.